You know, um, people say, Paul, how do, you, how do you get this information? Well, I'll tell you how I get the information. I believe in what's called scientific predictive analysis and prophetic analysis. In other words, I do all the research that I can in the areas of science, history, economics, culture, biology, and so on. I immerse myself in those subjects. And then I do intensive study on Bible prophecy. And then I seek the Lord. And I allow the Lord to supernaturally integrate the research. And I'm able to make scientific predictions and prophetic analysis that transcends mere human projections based on statistical analysis. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why my DVD series, the three DVD series, Are You Ready for the Coming One World Government? Are You Ready for the Coming One World Economic System? And Are You Ready for the uh, Coming One World Religion is so important. Okay. Now, 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 really, you've, you've got you've to be a fellow traveler with me on this, okay? Because this has vast implications for your life. And it has the potential of, of quantum boosting our economy. And, and here's how it goes. The elite are very wealthy in our world right now. But they don't want to die. And new technologies specifically transhumanism, post-human, nanotechnology, DNA research, have put it within the realm of possibility for them to vastly increase their lifespans through uh, genetic manipulation and interspecies breeding. In addition to that, it has promised them a kind of immortality where you could live in a new body after your consciousness has been downloaded into it for a thousand years, a millennium, okay? So those are very, very heavy stakes. And we, when you're dealing with heavy stakes like that, and men and women with uh, enormous fortunes or governments that have secret laboratories and are willing to break all ethical and moral taboos, such as selling body parts from prisoners, body parts from live people, uh, on the black market to 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 uh, make fortunes, uh, you're dealing with a toxic mix of it's more potent than selling drugs or crack cocaine, but it's biotechnology. Now, here's the thing: as Christians, we need to be on the cutting edge of this technology. I, I read a statistic, and I, I'm I'm so glad that the Are You Ready series, people are inviting people into their living rooms to watch it all over the world, and they watch one hour uh, a week, and they serve coffee and snacks, and I am anticipating a huge harvest of people coming to the Lord by simply watching the DVD series Are You Ready. Also, churches are purchasing the DVD series. They're inviting people in their communities and neighborhood that would be turned off by religion because, but because we deal with the topic matter that I'm discussing with you now, non-believers and young people flock to the churches and I'm expecting a great harvest. And I'm asking you to join with me in that great harvest because Jesus said the laborers are few, the fields are white for harvest, but the laborers are few. He who wins souls is wise. And we have a, uh, an opportunity to participate in the last day's harvest. Now, track with me, if you will. Adam and Eve lived in paradise. They lived forever. They walked in the presence of God. Lucifer, who embodied a serpent, seduced them. And the great seduction of Lucifer was... If you eat of the forbidden fruit, you will be like gods. So that same promise is being extended to mankind today, uh, utilizing transhumanist and post-human technologies. Lucifer is saying, uh, take this new body, uh, receive this DNA injection, and so on, and you shall be as gods. You'll live forever and you shall be as gods. Because you see, man, the, the greatest curse that man has, 
the greatest evidence that the Bible is true is that every man dies. And yet every man and woman alive knows dying is unnatural. Dying is a curse. So the way out of dying is to receive Christ by faith, salvation by faith, allow the Holy Spirit to make you born again, regenerate your inner man or woman, and when you die, you will resurrect with Christ, to live with Christ in eternity, in a new heaven and a new earth and a new Jerusalem. But the counterfeit of that is to scientifically engineer your own immortal body, which is not being attempted in transhumanism and posthumanism. So it's an attempt to destroy the curse. Now, <clears throat> We are at the point of the greatest transcendence that the human species has ever uh, attempted because of this new DNA technology and computer technology. We now have the capacity to alter and tinker with DNA. We have the cap capacities to uh, conduct interspecies breeding with animal, Nephilim, and human DNA and with the uh, injection of nanotechnology we can create superhumans and that would would send man across the threshold into a higher order of being and this is what's right before us now in human civilization so how does this pay, how does this play out in bible prophecy well in my dvd Moon into Blood and the Are You Ready series DVD, I touch on it. In Genesis 6 5, the sons of God, which most scholars believe were the fallen angels or demons, people who are not into the Bible believe they were aliens, mated with human women. The human women gave birth to an offspring called the Nephilim. And the DNA of the Nephilim supposedly has been discovered in caves, frozen caves in Antarctica, and they are building a super race once again. Now, here, here, here's the thing. We are moving towards the threshold of this. Now, go into the book of Revelation and understand that there is enormous complexity surrounding the teaching of the Antichrist and the false prophet. First of all, we know that the Antichrist dies and is reborn, a counterfeit resurrection. We know that the false prophet gets people to worship the image of the beast. So people are worshiping the image of the Antichrist. What does that mean? Does it mean a holographic image as some have suggested? Or does it mean that in some merger between Luciferian power and the dark usage of technology, that the Antichrist is able to clone himself and is reborn, in effect, through transhumanist technology, and they're not actually worshiping the original biological Antichrist, but they're worshiping a clone of the Antichrist created in a human laboratory, and so the worshiping of the image of the beast takes on an entirely new meaning. Then we have the fact that the false beast is going to, the false prophet or the second beast is going to create a coming one world religion, which I deal with in my DVD series. Are you ready? And in this coming one world religion, the false prophet distributes. Um, the microchip implant into human beings or the biochip implant and human beings become a slave race controlled by the beast and the false prophet and what controls them nanochip implants biochip implants microchip implants and they can be controlled via satellite so this mark of the beast technology goes far beyond some little patch on the hand or the forehead it's transcendent technology that, that steps right into the future. 
And then when we look at the book of Revelation and we see that the kind of soldiers and battlefields that are depicted in, Revel uh, in Revelation in graphic detail, when Christ returns to planet Earth at the second coming, all the armies of the earth surround Christ at his second coming, the Messiah returning to Israel, and they're firing nuclear missiles at him. They're attempting to block his second coming from Earth. Why are they attempting to block his second coming from Earth? Because they are under a deep hypnotic spell where they're worshiping the Antichrist as God, the great apostasy. And they are so deeply spiritually deceived that they think that by fighting Christ, who they probably in their deception believe is, believe is, a, is a powerful UFO from the dark side, um, they are attempting to stop the second coming of Christ. And Armageddon occurs. But they can't stop the second coming of Christ because it's been prophesied in the Bible. And so Christ comes back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I'm Paul McGuire. Visit my website at paulmcguire.org.